Welcome back to the next part of the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for Thanos. If you become a channel member today, you'll gain access to the other Pixel Art tutorial parts that the current channel members have access to. You'll also gain early access to the other Pixel Art tutorial parts that I'm working on. If you become a level 2 channel member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Pablo video. And if you become a level 3 member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Minecraft video. The best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord, and if you're a channel member, you'll unlock the channel member role that's associated with your membership level after you link your YouTube account with Discord. Links to my Discord and channel membership are down below in the description. Once you're in my Discord, you'll have the opportunity to join my Minecraft Realms. You'll then have the chance to play Survival or Creative Mode with me, and channel members gain access to the channel member realms. If you want to find out when a certain video will be uploaded, my upload schedule will be posted on Discord. Also, don't forget about my other social media, I'll be leaving links to them down below in the description, and if you're on the Windows 10 edition or on the Xbox, my gamertag is FelixWalmanYT, send me a message or a screenshot of the progress you're making with this pixel art tutorial, or any of my other pixel art tutorials, or better yet, you can post it in my Discord server, it has an entire section dedicated to sharing pixel arts. So before we get started, I know I've conditioned you to expect long videos from me, but I'm going to cut down on the length for each tutorial part from here on out. This is just to combat some technical issues I'm having with my current PC until I get a new one. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start at the very bottom of his chin outline down here. We're going to start all the way down here at the left. So starting from, let's say over here, all the way at the very corner. We're going to start with the obsidian, and on top of the black concrete that's right here we're just going to be placing three obsidians going to the right that's one two three next we're going to be switching over to the blue terracotta and on top of these two obsidians we're going to be placing two blue terracottas going across on one two and then we're going to be switching over to the purple concrete and we're going to be adding one purple concrete on top of the right block so that's one purple concrete and then switch over to the purple powder, add one purple powder on the left, that's one purple powder. Switch back over to the purple concrete, and on top of the powder we're going to be adding two purple concretes going up, that's one, two. Now we're going to be switching back, uh, switch, we're going to be switching back over to the blue terracotta. Now with the blue terracotta we're going to be adding three blocks going up, that's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching back over to the uh, the purple powder, and with the purple powder, we're going to be adding 10 blocks going up. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10 blocks. Now, we're going to head back down here, and we're going to be switching back over to the obsidian block. Let's head back to the right this one black concrete on the left side of it we're going to be adding two obsidians going to the left that's one two now let's go back to this black concrete on top of it we're going to be adding one obsidian that's one and on the right side of it we're going to be adding three obsidians going to the right that's one two three so it should look like this now, once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the blue terracotta. And with the blue terracotta going up here to this obsidian, this empty space that's above it, we're going to be filling that in with the blue terracotta. Fill that in. And then going to this one black concrete on the right side of it, we're just going to be adding one blue terracotta. That's one. And then we're going to head back down here. And underneath this one black concrete, so from there, we're going to be adding two blue terracottas going to the left. That's one, two. And then place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the purple concrete. And starting on top of this block here, on top of this blue terracotta, we're going to be adding two purple concretes going to the left. That's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the purple powder. Now with the purple powder, starting, or I should say before we switch to the purple powder, let's go ahead and switch over to the purple concrete. And we're going to be adding one block on the left side of this black concrete so that's one so it should look like that okay now we're going to be switching over to the purple powder and starting from the left block of these two here so starting from this block we're going to be adding two sets of, or i should say three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right three sets of twos that's one two one one two two and one two three and now that we have that, starting on top of this block, we're going to be adding five blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 
So it should look like this. Very simple, very easy. Now let's move over here to the right. And we're going to be switching back over to the purple concrete. And on top of this obsidian block here, we're going to be adding three purple concretes going to the right. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Now switch over to the purple powder. On the left side, we're going to be placing three purple powders going to the left. That's one, two, three. Now moving back to this purple concrete, on top of it, we're going to be adding one purple powder. That's one. Switch over to the magenta, add a magenta powder on top. That's one. Switch over to the pink concrete, and we're going to be adding one pink concrete on top. That's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the pink powder. Now with the pink powder, let's move one block over to the right. On top of this one black concrete, we're going to be adding five blocks going up. So it's one, two, three, four, five. That's five pink powders. Let's move over here to the right. On top of these two black concretes, we're going to be adding one pink powder. That's one. All right, now that we've done that, what we're going to do next from here is we're going to move to the right to this next little empty space here. And we're gonna be switching over to the purple powder. On top of this black concrete here, we're gonna be adding one purple powder, that's one. Switch over to the magenta powder, and we're gonna be adding one magenta powder going up to the right, that's one. Switch over to the pink, or the pink concrete, where are you, there you are, okay. We're gonna be placing one pink concrete going up to the right, that's one. Now switch over to the purple powder. Now with the purple powder, moving down here to this magenta powder. On top of the magenta powder, we're going to be adding two blocks going up with the purple powder. That's one, two. And then on top of this pink concrete, we're going to be adding two purple powders going up. So two purple powders going up. That's one and two. Now that we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the pink powder. And with the pink powder moving over here, starting on top of this black concrete here, we're going to be adding two blocks going up. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now place nine blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine blocks. Now let's move over here to the right. On top of this black concrete here, we're going to be adding six blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the magenta powder. Add two magenta powders going up. That's one, two on top of it. Now before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's go back down here. Going back over here to the left where we started. We're going to switch over to the purple powder. And with the purple powder, we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the purple powder, fill those, oops, fill those empty spaces there, with the purple powder, let me just go back down here, get rid of that little placement, all right, let me go back up now, long, flying back up, all right, so now that we filled in that area with the purple powder, it should look like that, let's move over here to the right now, and these four single empty spaces here as well will also get filled in with the purple powder, let's fill that in, so it looks like that. All right, now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to head back up here. Let's fly all the way back up here. We're going to be switching back over to the magenta powder. Now with the magenta powder, let's go back to these nine powder, uh, pink powders here. Let's go back to these nine pink powders. On top of it, so from here, we're going to be adding 14 blocks going up. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 14 blocks with the pink, or not the pink, with the magenta powder. All right, but now switching over to the pink powder, we're going to be adding one pink powder on top. That's one. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to be flying down here. Let's go back to these two magenta powders. We're going to be switching over to the purple powder now. And on top of the magenta, we're going to be adding from here five blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four, five. All right, and then we're going to be switching over to the magenta powder, and on top of the purple, we're going to be adding three magenta powders going up. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to be switching over to the pink, and we're going to be filling in this small space here above it with the pink powder. So it should look like this. Very simple, very easy. 
Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to head back down here. Let's go all the way back down to this next area from here. We're going to start off by switching over to the magenta powder. And on top of this pink concrete, we're going to be adding two magenta powders going up. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be switching over to the pink powder. And on top of this black concrete, we're going to be adding one pink powder. That's one. And then place two blocks going up on the right with it. That's one, two. And now three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the pink concrete. And with the pink concrete, let's head back down here to this one pink powder. On top of this pink powder, we're going to be adding four blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, head over here to these two pink powders and on top of the pink powders we're going to be adding four blocks going up with the pink concrete so that's one two three four and now that we have that let's move over here to the right one block over and now we're going to move to these three pink powders starting on top of it we're going to be adding six pink concretes going up that's one two three four five six and now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the purple powder. And with the purple powder on top of this block here, we're going to be adding nine purple powders going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now that you've done that, what you're going to be doing next from here is you're going to be switching over to the magenta powder. And on top of the purple powder, we're going to be adding... 10 magenta powders going up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10 blocks. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and fill in this empty space that's right here with the magenta powder. Fill this in with magenta powder. So it looks like that. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the pink concrete. And let's head back down here. Starting from the top block of these these six pink powders, or I should say six pink concretes, uh, from the top block on the right side, so starting from right here, we're going to be placing a linked five blocks going up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Again, that's with the pink concrete. And now that you've done that, you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Next, you're going to be placing seven blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Head back down, get rid of that placement. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be switching over to the placement block. And with the placement block on the left side of the top block of these seven pink concretes, we're going to be adding one placement block. That's one. Now switch back over to the pink concrete. And we're going to be adding one pink concrete underneath the placement. That's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block now. Now, switch over to the pink uh, powder, and we're going to be adding one pink powder on top of this pink concrete. So that's one pink powder. Now that you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the, the pink concrete. There we go. On top of this pink powder, we're going to be adding from here just four blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four. Next, you're going to be placing five blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the pink powder. And with the pink powder on top of this block, we're going to be adding three blocks going up. That's one, two, three. So I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. All right, so what we're going to do next from here is we're going to, let's fly back up here, and we're going to be switching over to the pink concrete. Now with the pink concrete from this area, we're going to move over here to the left to these five purple concrete. On the right side of it, we're going to be adding one pink concrete. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the pink, or the purple concrete, all these P words, <laughs> or P colors. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the purple concrete, and we're going to be adding one purple concrete on the left side of this pink concrete. That's one. 
And then from here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. And that's one. So it should look like that. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the pink powder. And with the pink powder, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the pink powder. Let's fill this in. It should look like that. All right, now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be doing a little outlining. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the black concrete. And with the black concrete, we're going to move up here to the right, going back to these three pink powders, starting from the bottom block on the right side. So starting from here, we're going to be placing three sets of threes going down on the right. So it's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, and one, two, three, three. That's three sets of threes. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks, starting from the pink powder there. So let's head back down here. From here, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three. And now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the purple powder and with the purple powder on top of these three black concretes we're going to be adding one purple powder that's one then we're going to move over to the left and on top of these two uh, we're going to be placing one or i should say we're going to be placing two purple powders going up that's one two and then once you've done that we're going to move one block over to the left and on top of these three black concretes we're going to be adding two purple powders going up that's one two and now we'll move one block over to the left again, and on top of these three black concretes, we're going to be adding three purple powders going up. That's one, two, three. I'll fly back a bit again so you can see that it should look exactly like this. And now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the pink powder, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the pink powder. Fill this in with pink powder. So it looks like that. And then once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the purple powder. And with the purple powder, let's head back down here. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the purple powder. So go ahead and fill this in with the purple powder. So it looks like that. Next, you're going to be switching over to the pink concrete. Now with the pink concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the pink concrete. So let's go ahead and fill in this empty space with the pink concrete. Like so. So I'll fly back a bit again so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Alright, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do next real quick, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the magenta powder. And with the magenta powder, let's head back up here to these three black concretes. We're going to be adding one magenta powder on top. That's one. And then you're going to be switching over to the pink powder. And on top of this magenta powder, we're going to be adding four pink powders going up. That's one, two, three four and then once we've done that we're going to be switching over to the purple concrete now with the purple concrete let's move over here to the left on top of these three pink powders we're going to be adding just six purple concretes going up that's one two three four five six that's six blocks and then you're going to be placing one block going up to the left so that's one so it should look like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is we're actually going to be flying all the way down here. We're going to leave this area alone just for now. We'll come back to it in just a minute. Let's get back all the way over here to this side of Thanos' face. Uh, but we're going to start all the way over here to the right. I want you to find this one, this one black concrete here that's making contact with these five black concretes that are going across. I'll fly back a bit so you can see where we are. That's where... That's what I want you to find, that one black concrete right there. We're going to be switching over to a placement block, and we're going to be adding two placement blocks going to the left from it. So that's one, two. And then once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the pink concrete. Now with the pink concrete on the left side of the placement, we're going to be adding from here two blocks going to the left. That's one, two. Get rid of those placements. And now from here, we're going to be placing a linked five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. A linked five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So it should look like this. Once you've done that, we're going to start from the left block of these five. But from instead of just starting from here, we're going to move one block over to the right. So we're going to start from here. 
So from here, we're going to be adding six blocks going to the left with the pink concrete. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now that you've done that, what you're going to be doing next from here is we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. And now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Go to the placement block. And now we're going to be switching over to the placement block. Add a placement block on top of the left block of these four. So that's one. And then you're going to be switching over to the pink concrete. Add one pink concrete on the right side of the placement. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one. And one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing... Th uh, two sets of threes going up on the right. Two sets of threes going up on the right. That's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of this placement. And now let's head back up here. And we're going to be switching over to the magenta powder. And with the magenta powder on top of this pink concrete, we're going to be adding nine magenta powders going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine blocks. And then you're going to be switching over to the pink powder. And with pink powder, we're going to be adding three blocks going up on top. So that's one, two, three. All right, now that we have those three there, we're going to be switching over to the black concrete. Let's switch over to the black concrete. And starting from the bottom block of these three pink powders on the right side of it, so starting from here, we're going to be adding two sets of threes going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Next, you're going to be placing four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next from here is we're going to be placing two sets of threes going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here, and from here we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Now once we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the purple powder. And with the purple powder, on top of this one black concrete, we're going to be adding just one purple powder. That's one. Next, you're going to be switching over to the magenta powder. Now with the magenta powder, on top of this one block, we're going to be adding 15 magenta powders going up. 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15 blocks. Now this is definitely the time to make sure you're counting correctly because we're going to be doing a couple double digit numbers back to back here. So let's go ahead and switch over to the, the purple powder. And on top of the magenta here, we're going to be adding three purple powders going up. That's 1, 2, 3. And once you've done that, let's head all the way back down here. We're going to go back to these three black concretes that are making contact with the one black concrete here that's also making contact with that magenta, uh, with the purple powder. So we're going to be switching back over to the purple powder. And on top of these three black concretes, we're going to be adding one purple powder. That's one. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the magenta powder. And on top of this purple powder, we're going to be adding 12 magenta powders going up. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12, just 12. I'm accidentally getting ahead of myself. So that's 12 magenta powders. Now that we have the magenta there, we're going to be switching over to the purple concrete powder. Now with the purple powder, we're going to be adding from here just four blocks going up. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we're going to be switching back over to the, oh, actually, yeah, let's go back down here. Let's go all the way back down here. Let's go back to these three black concretes here. And on top of them, we're going to be adding three purple powders going up. That's one, two, three. And now from here, we're going to be switching over to the magenta. And on top of this block, we're going to be adding eight magentas going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, you're going to be switching over to the purple powder. And with the purple powder, we're going to be adding five blocks going up. 
That's one, two, three, four, five. Let's head back down here, going back down to these four black concretes. On top of this block, we're going to be adding four, just four of, not four, three, three of these uh, purple powders going up. That's one, two, and three. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so now that we have these three powders, we're going to be switching over to the magenta powder, and we're going to be adding from here seven blocks going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, you're going to be switching over to the purple concrete, and we're going to be adding from here four purple concretes going up. That's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and head back down here. Now, on top of these three blocks, we're going to be adding just four, four purple powders going up. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to move down here on top of these three black concretes. We're going to be adding three purple powders going up. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be switching over to the magenta powder, and we're going to be adding nine magenta powders going up on top. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch over to the purple powder, and we're going to be adding one purple powder on top. That's one. And then once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the pink concrete. And on top of this block here, we're going to be adding two sets of twos going up on the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So it should look exactly like this. And then once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the magenta powder. And with the magenta powder, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the magenta powder. Let's fill this in. All right, and then once we've done that, what we're going to do next from here is we're going to move over here to the left. These two empty spaces here, this space and this space, get filled in with the magenta powder. So let's go ahead and fill those in. So it looks like that. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the black concrete. And with the black concrete, let's move over here to the right. On the right side of this purple powder, so from there, we're going to be adding three blocks going up. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and place two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now place four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now place five blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now place four blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three, four. Now three blocks going up on the left, that's one, two, three. And now two blocks going up on the left, that's one, two. Next you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now starting on top of the right block of these two, we're going to be adding just one black concrete on top, that's one. And then from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left. So it's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and move back down here. And going back to this one block down here, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. So it looks like this. Now let's head back down here, going back to these two blocks we had here going across. Starting from the left block, this block here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Now switch over to the placement block, add a placement block on top of the black concrete. That's one. Switch back over to the black concrete. On the left side of the placement, we're going to be adding five blocks going down. That's one, two, three, four, five. Head back up here, get rid of the placement. And starting from the top block of these five, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to move back down here, starting from the bottom block of these five, starting from this block. We're going to be placing four blocks going down on the right. So it's one, two, three, four. And it should be making contact with this one purple concrete. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block now. 
And once we've done that, let's go ahead and switch back over to the pink concrete. Now with the pink concrete, starting on top of these four black concretes, so starting from here, right there, on top of the four, we're going to be adding two pink concretes going up. That's one, two. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. And once you've done that, starting from the right block of these two blocks that we have here going across, starting from this block, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Next, you're going to be switching over to the pink powder, and we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here with the pink powder. So let's fill those in. So it looks like that. All right, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do next from here is we're going to move down and we're going to leave that area alone for now. We're going to move back down here and I want you to go all the way down here, all, all the way down here. Uh, we're going to move back to the right. Let's go over here to these five black concretes that I had you place. This is where I want you to be. We're actually going to... Now, before we do that, could you, because the purple... Purple concrete powder can actually support itself, so we have to put something there to support it. So we're actually going to be switching over to the purple concrete. We need the purple concrete. So starting off with the purple concrete, let's get back down here. I want you to go to these. You see where we have uh, these four black concretes here? We're going to start from here. On top of it, we're going to be adding two purple concretes going up. That's one, two. Then you're going to be switching over to the purple concrete. All right, powder, and with the purple powder, we're going to be adding just one purple powder on top. So that's one. Now, let's switch back over to the purple concrete. On top of the powder, we're going to be adding from here six blocks going to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, starting from the left block, we're going to be adding two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. And now switch over to the purple powder, and we're going to be adding in two purple powders going up. That's one, two. Switch back over to the purple concrete, and add one purple concrete on top. That's one. Now, once you've done that, let's head back over here to the right. Let's go back to these six blocks, starting on top of the right block of these six. So from here, we're going to be adding a linked two blocks going to the right. So that's one and two. That's a linked two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Get rid of those placements. And now we're going to be switching over to the purple powder, and we're going to be adding one purple powder on the right side of this purple concrete, on the right, so add one purple powder, so it looks like this. And once we've done that, these three single empty spaces right here, we're going to go ahead and fill in those three empty spaces with the purple powder. So let's fill that in with purple powder. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next from here is we're going to move to the left block of these six purple concretes. So starting from here, we're going to be adding five purple powders going to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now that we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the purple concrete. And with the purple concrete, we're going to be filling in these four empty spaces here with the purple concrete. This is one, two, three, four, these four. Let's go ahead and fill this in with the purple concrete. Fill this right up. There we go. And now that we've filled that in, we're going to be switching back over to the purple powder and on top of the left block of these five purple powders. So from here, we're going to be adding seven blocks going to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's head back over here to the left on top of the left block. We're going to be adding eight blocks going to the right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now that you've done that, starting on top of the right block of these eight blocks, so starting from here, we're going to be adding a linked five blocks going to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now on top of the right block of these five, we're going to be adding a linked 
six blocks going to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, there's nothing here to support it, but that's fine because you're going to also be placing another purple powder there. So it can make it six. So it can make it across. So it should look like this. All right. And now that we have that there, what we're going to do next is on top of the right block of the six, we're going to be adding a linked two blocks going to the right. That's one, two. So it should look like that. Now, once we've done that, we're going to head back over here to the left. Let's go back to the left block of these eight. Starting on top of the left block, we're going to be adding two purple powders going to the right. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be switching over to the magenta powder. Now, with the magenta powder on top of the left block of these two, we're going to be adding just one magenta powder going up. That's one. Let's move one block over. On top of this block, we're going to be adding three magentas going up. That's one, two, three. Once again, move one block over to the right. On top of this block, we're going to be adding six magenta powders going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do that again. One block over. On top of this block, we're going to be adding 12 magenta powders going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right. Now let's move one block over to the right and down here on top of this pink concrete on top of the pink concrete we're going to be adding 12 magenta powders going up that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 that's 12 blocks now let's head back down here now that we have those 12 one block over to the right on top of this pink concrete we're going to be adding 16 blocks going up with the magenta powder that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16 blocks. And now that we've done that, one block over to the right, head all the way down on top of these two pink concrete. We're going to be adding 17 magenta powders going up. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 17 blocks. Now once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the purple powder. Now with the purple powder on top of this block, we're going to be adding six purple powders going up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six purple powders, and it should be making contact with these other three black concrete that we have here. So I'm going to fly back a bit. So you can see that everything should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Because for this next part, we're going to be filling in four empty spaces. If you, you can go ahead and count them right here. It's actually, is it four? No, it's, it's five. Okay, it's five. So it's, it's going to be one, two, three, four, and this massive one, five. And the only one that's going to require a different type of uh, shade of block are just the, these two in the middle down here. So this empty space here, you're going to go ahead and fill this in with the purple powder right here. This empty space is going to get filled in with purple powder. And then the space that's right next to it to the left, this empty space gets filled in with the pink powder. So this is pink powder right here. And this is purple powder right here and then the two other spaces over here to the left this empty space here along with this empty space here gets filled in with the magenta powder and also over here to the to the left uh this empty space here gets with uh, magenta powder as well so these two are to the right i should say these two on the right side one two magenta powder this big one magenta powder pink powder and purple powder so go ahead and fill those in and when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now, I think I forgot to mention that that area up there also gets filled in with the magenta powder. So make sure to fill that in as well with the magenta powder. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for Thanos in the next part. If you become a channel member today, you'll gain access to the other pixel art tutorial parts that the current channel members have access to. You'll also gain early access to the other pixel art tutorial parts that I'm working on. If you become a level 2 channel member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Pablo video, and if you become a level 3 member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Minecraft video.
The best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord, and if you're a channel member, you'll unlock the channel member role that's associated with your membership level after you link your YouTube account with Discord. Links to my Discord and channel membership are down below in the description. Once you're in my Discord, you'll have the opportunity to join my Minecraft Realms. You'll then have the chance to play Survival or Creative Mode with me, and channel members gain access to the channel member realms. If you want to find out when a certain video will be uploaded, my upload schedule will be posted on Discord. Also, don't forget about my other social media. I'll be leaving links to them down below in the description. And if you're on the Windows 10 edition or on the Xbox, my gamertag is FelixWalmanYT. Send me a message or a screenshot of the progress you're making with this pixel art tutorial or any of my other pixel art tutorials. Or better yet, you can post it in my Discord server. It has an entire section dedicated to sharing pixel arts. And of course, a big shout out to all my level 3 channel members. I greatly appreciate your consistent support. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for Thanos, and make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.